Hello Gilbert Tigers, I'm Dr. Christine Trujillo, the Superintendent of Gilbert. I just wanted to take a couple minutes to talk to you today about snow days. Snow days is a hot topic and as I look at the forecast for next week, it's possible that could happen for us. I often get the question, how do you make the decision? So I wanted to share that with all of you. The first thing that happens is we keep a very close eye on the forecast. We listen to local news. We also receive National Weather Service updates uh, that come into our inbox to take a look at projections so that we can make the very best decision possible as it relates to a snow day. I don't take that decision lightly. I never want to cancel school. I do love a good snow day, but I really love having everyone here teaching and learning together. And so that's what we look at. So just to give you a little bit of um, information around that is that we try to make the decision by nine o'clock the night before school. If it hits nine o'clock in the evening before school and it becomes after nine o'clock and we haven't called off school, that means we're not gonna make another decision for the rest of the evening. Everyone can go to bed, they can enjoy their evening, and know that we'll make the decision in the morning. And then in the morning, our timeline that we had tried to stick to is to make that decision by 5.30 in the morning. There's a lot that goes into that decision that early in the morning, and I'll go into those details in just a minute. So how do we make that decision? It's a lot of things. As I said, we look at the forecast, we also get into our vehicles, myself included, very early in the morning. Sometimes it's 4, 4.30 in the morning, where we're all out driving the roads, driving gravel roads, driving our hard roads, driving the roads that our kids and our buses will be driving on and our families to see what is the condition that's out there. We take a look at that. We communicate with each other. We collaborate with each other and say, what are you finding? What do you see? What's it like for you? to make that decision. I also collaborate with our neighboring superintendents to say, what's happening in your community? What are you seeing? What are you thinking about doing? If we call off school because of snow, that's important too that everyone knows. How can you find out that information? As I mentioned, social media is one place. You can look at Facebook, you can look at Twitter. Those are places to find out that information. You also would get information from Infinite Campus. As parents, you have information in Infinite Campus that tells us whether you want an email, a text message, or a phone call. If you don't want that phone to ring or you don't want a phone call at 5.30, 5.45 in the morning, then you might go in and uncheck that box in Infinite Campus. But those are your preferences and you would decide that. So we do that through Infinite Campus, social media. Of course, we notify all local news stations so you can take a look there and see what is Gilbert doing about a school day. So that's how the decisions are made. It's really a collaborative effort. It's all of us working together. And even when we say, okay, we're not calling a snow day, we're here and we're busy scooping the sidewalks. Our team is doing everything they can to get ready to welcome our buses, to welcome our kids and families so that our properties are safe and ready for kids when they come. So we'll see what happens next week. Maybe we won't get much snow, but at least now you know how the decision is made. Hope you have a wonderful winter season and maybe you're hoping for snow, maybe you're not. I always like a good snow angel, so you might get out there once one happens and make a snow angel. Thanks everyone. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer them as we go along. Thank you.